Okay, we're back to Let's Play Mega Man V for Game Boy, and we're gonna figure out what that star is. Wait. It's moving. No! It can't be! Wily! He's busy behind this. Ah, uh, oops, that was close. So while he was behind it, I'm so shocked. This is it, Russ. Let's go. Can you see how shocked I am by the enthusiasm in my voice? Haven't seen this before. Mega Man is flying through space, shooting asteroids with his cannon. Well, Rush is shooting pellets out of his mouth. It's just a short, basically, in interlope stage between this. The thing is, I should be able to shoot behind me. However, Rush can still power the Mega Arm, it's not a Mega Arm, it's more like a Mega Buster shot. <laughs> this scene, this level is just basically all the same stuff over and over again. So just float through space, going up and down to avoid the asteroids. If you want to call them that. And get it by some if you feel like it. However, taking out these enemies just causes another one to appear. So if you want to, you can just keep on moving and try to avoid them, I think. Or maybe after you destroy a certain amount, like the real boss comes or something. Let's try to defeat these guys, and since they circle around you, just circle around them. It's hard for them to close in on you if you circle around them. Plus, as long as you keep moving, the bullets won't hit you. I don't know why I'm taking them out. I'm not sure I really have to. But there is only one left now, so maybe... And Mega Man goes through hyperspace, and now there's lasers shooting at him. And you don't want that to happen. So it's high, low, high again, low again, middle. So high, low. I low middle and now okay um yeah, I don't think I can use anything other than the rush cannon thing. I think you gotta hit the mouth when it opens up.
So it's pretty simple. And avoiding the lasers aren't so much. It's you gotta shoot the mouth when it's not shooting the laser before it closes. So you may have to use any tank here. Yeah, don't go up to avoid these missiles. Just after it shoots, fire and continue to shoot little shellet shots and you may be able to get a few in. Don't get hit by the laser because it's Probably a one hit kill. When you destroy the laser, you enter it. Okay, we're inside Riley's fortress. So, I beat Terror and got the weapon from him, so that means I killed him, so what's What's the special robot Wily's he's got in his castle for me? Or fortress or whatever. There's that stupid monster that when you kill it the wheel comes at you. This one I think you have to hit in the head. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? Well, I'll try it. Better be worth it, whatever's behind here. If I have to use both Uranus's weapon and Pluto's break dash to get through here. Maybe it's an alternate path. And that's what it looks like right now. I think I was supposed to go this way. I think the ladder was if you took the down path. So, let's keep on going. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get them. I guess you gotta rush coil up there. Or rush jet up there. And then use Uranus's thing and then put his bright dash. Okay, the boss room door. Actor? For those of you who didn't watch my Mega Man 1 for Game Boy thing, this douchebag that just killed me is Eckner. He was the mini boss that gave you the mirror buster in Mega Man 1 for Game Boy. Yeah, his power is whenever you shoot him, it makes his weapon that he shoots at you more powerful. And I don't really want to go back to the beginning, so let's just go here and eat an a eat an E tank. I can't really is weak against the cannon, the normal mega arm. You can only hurt him when he's raising his sword in the air. But the more you shoot him, the bigger that wave becomes and the harder it is to dodge it. But Exner's a slave to his own power up and he's dead. Now we're over here. See you in the next part.